Welcome. Let us explore the question, what is zero raised to the zeroth power? Well, we've seen in a previous lesson on tricky exponents that two to the zeroth power should be one. And in that lesson, there was nothing special about the number two there. We could have worked with the number three to see that three to the zeroth is one, or 17 to the zeroth power is one, or pi to the zeroth power is one. So given the work of that lesson, it seems appropriate to say that zero to the zeroth power is one. However, I'm going to be a little strange right now. I'm going to argue that 0 to the 0th power is actually 7 and a half. Here goes. How could that be? Well, I'll use the algebra of exponents to, to convince us that 0 to the 0th really is 7 and a half. There is a fundamental law of exponents, which we talked about in the previous episode, that said 0 to the a times 0 to the b should be, when you multiply exponents, in terms of adding the actual superscripts. 0 to the a plus b. Well, let me apply this to a particular choice of numbers. According to this law, 0 to the 0 times 0 squared should be 0 squared, 0 plus 2. All right, I claim 0 to the 0 is 7 and a half, so I'll write 7 and a half here, times something equals something. Actually, I do know what 0 squared is. 0 squared is 0 times 0. Without a doubt, I know that 0. So I have here, the statement's really saying 7 and a half times 0 is, in fact, 0, which is actually very true. Anything times 0 is 0. Therefore, 0 to the 0 is indeed 7 and a half. Voila. Of course, that's a bit of a cheap argument. I could have put any number there. 7 and 3 quarters, in fact, would have been fine. 7 and 3 quarters times 0 is also 0. So I'm afraid, actually, this algebraic statement only muddies the waters. Any number could go in for 0 to the 0 and not contradict that algebraic statement. So it actually offers no help. All right, so, so we need to examine 0 to 0 in its own right and come at, come at it in a different way. So algebraically, there seems to be no well-defined answer, but maybe analytically there's another approach. So we did see that any number, at least positive number, to the 0th power is 1. So for example, 1 to the 0 will be 1 and 0.1 to the 0 will be 1, and 0.01, 100th to the 0 power, would be 1. And we can see where we're heading. This left side wants to become 0 to the 0th power, whereas the right-hand side is constantly staying the number 1. So it seems, by this argument, that uh, 0 to the 0 is 1 again. But let's come at this another way. 0 to the 1th power is 0. 0 to the point 1, that is the tenth root of 0, is 0. That's correct, 0 times 0 times 0, 10 times, is indeed 0, so the tenth root of 0 is in fact 0. 0 to the point zero one, is the hundredth root of 0, that's still 0, and so on. Well, if I follow this route, this again wants to become 0 to the 0, but the right-hand side, right side this time is constantly staying the number 0. So this argument seems to say that 0 to the 0 wants to be 1. So again I have a contradiction. Algebraically I had no clear answer and now analytically it seems I have no clear answer as well. Let's take another approach. On a graphing calculator let's look at this graph y equals x to the x -th power. That's certainly a fine graph. Uh, if I put x equals 1 I'll get 1 to the 1th power. That is the answer is 1. If I put y equals 2, I'll get 2 to the 2th power, which is 4. Put in 3, you get 3 to the 3th power, which is 27, and so on. So that certainly has a fine graph. Put in x equals a half, I'll get 1 half to the half power. That's the square root of half. If you actually graph this beast, and let me draw it right here, either by hand or on a graphing calculator, you'll find the graph blows up tremendously fast, oh, excuse me, uh, blows up tremendously fast for positive whole numbers, but for numbers getting close to zero, it wants to look like this. So the number one turns out to be here, and it looks like zero to the zeroth wants to be one. So actually do try it. Type this formula into the graphing calculator, and you'll see a graph that looks like this. And if I look very closely, this graph is suggesting at x equals zero, y wants to be one. Well, fine and dandy. However, if you graph other sketches, for example, sketch the graph of y equals 0 to the x, 
and sketch the graph of y equals x to the 0. Those two want to be 0 to the 0 when x is 0. And I'm afraid they can leave to different pictures. So the true answer is, what is 0 to the 0? It's just simply undefined. There is no answer algebraically, as we saw by that law, 0 to the a times 0 to the b equals 0 to the a plus b. And there's no answer analytically. One can actually obtain most any answer one desires. But there's a nice little calculus question here, by the way. Look at this graph of y equals x to the x. If you look closely, it does dip down. I'm wondering where this dip is. Where's the lowest value of this graph? So for those who know calculus, here's my extra challenge for the moment. Prove that this lowest point occurs at the value x equals 1 over e. So even though I don't know how to define 0 to the 0 from this graph, there's something cool for calculus students nonetheless. Thanks.